Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how I style my hair from curly, as you've probably seen in other videos, to nice and smooth and sleek back like this, without using straighteners. So this is the finished look, but I'm going to show you what I did to achieve it. Okay, so this is before I've washed my hair, so you can see it's quite curly, because I've had a perm. So what I'm going to do is get it shampooed. Okay, so my hair is all shampooed through now. I use some Paul Mitchell Mitch Double Hitter. Okay, so now that my hair is damp and I've towel dried it off, I'm going to put some product through. But before I do that, I'm just going to brush my hair a little bit first so it's easier to apply the product through and there's no sort of tangles or anything in my curls. So I'm just going to use this brush. It's a Vigetti 998 brush. And actually it's not that tangled anyway. Just going to smooth it a little bit with the brush. Now I'm going to put some product through. I'm going to use Steady Grip by Paul Mitchell. Again, it's a Mitch product. I'm not going to use loads, probably about use about a 10 pence piece size, I reckon. And wipe it all through my hands. That's for you, Sam. So now I'm just going to work the product all through my hair. Steady Grip is a firm hold gel, which I guess you could use for like slicking back looks, and if you want that kind of wet gel look. Um, but it's a non-flaking gel. And I always put it in wet hair, I never put it in dry hair. I always put it in wet because it gives the hair a really nice hold for this kind of style. So now that that's all worked through, I'm also going to put in one more product. I'm going to use some heat seal by Paul Mitchell as well, um, because this is a heat resistor. So not only will it protect from sort of hair dryer heat and straightener heat, um, it's also got a humidity resistor in it. So because my hair is curly and if the air is a bit damp and whatever outside, my hair will start to curl up again. Um, this won't stop it doing that, but it will fight against it to stop it going too frizzy. Now I'm just going to use my hair dryer to kind of give my hair a bit of a blast. But I'm not just going to blast it, I'm going to use my brush again, my baguette brush. So hair dryer on and heat in. I'm pulling the brush right through my hair, but following it with the hair dryer. So by doing it like this, I'm following my brush with the hair dryer. I'm keeping the hair quite smooth. I'm not going to ruffle it up because I'm not blasting it like that. So I'll probably keep doing this until it's about 90% dry. So I've nearly got it where I want it dry. You can see it's still quite kind of got a lot of texture in it. It's quite frizzy. Um, that's why I don't do the whole thing with this brush. That's why I'm going to change my brush now. It doesn't feel overly nice because of the steady grip that's in it. Um, but it's a great product to give it some really good hold if that's what you want. So now I'm going to move on to using my Paul Mitchell Medium Round Brush, which is part of their Pro Tool system. So I'm just going to use my Paul Mitchell clips. Now I'm going to brush all my hair forward again so it's out of the way. Mm -hmm. Flip that away. And I'm going to use another clip to take a section from the back. I don't know if you can see, but I've just taken a tiny bit of hair and clipped the rest out of the way. So now I'm just going to put the brush in. Smooth it up, make sure all the hair is nice and smooth, and I'm going to roll it down like it is a roller. I use my hairdryer again, I'm going to put the heat on, and I'm going to smooth the hairdryer through with the brush, and I'm going to keep turning the brush while I'm doing so, because it will give it a nice bit of lift, but tuck the ends in so it doesn't go too straight. And I'm giving it like a little bit of lift. Now using this brush is important because you're going to get a nice bit of tension through that area which keeps that bit nice and smooth. I'm just going to go in and do it again. Now I'm just going to swap over to the cold air. And the reason that we put cold air on is because it's going to cool the hair down and set it. I'm just going to pull the brush out, and there you go. So now I'm going to do the next section. I'm going to keep doing this on every section. So I'm going to take another section. So on this next section, because my head is wider, and I've got a lot of hair here, I'm going to do it in two sections. So I'm going to split that down to there, and so it doesn't get caught. I'm going to pop another clip in there. It makes it easier, if you're doing it on your own, to clip bits out the way because then you don't get other bits caught up in the brush. Bring it up and roll it down. I'm going to 
gonna take that section out and dry this bit. section I'm just gonna clip that bit out of the way. body firm finishing spray again it's another Paul Mitchell product this hairspray is the best hairspray ever it's like cement for your hair it's amazing so I'm just gonna give my hair a little bit of spray and that is me done now I can also make this a little bit bigger if I want to do or have it more um, coming sort of down on the side so it kind of speaks back a little bit more. Um, but I want to bring it right back today. Now you can always, if you wanted to, you could always get some straighteners and just smooth it back over as well. But I just think I prefer having a blow dry style in because it will just hold a little bit better. Okay, so just so you guys can see the back as well, I've just moved the camera around. So you can see... Okay guys, so now I want to hear from you what you think about my hair. Um, I want to know if you prefer it curly, which you would have seen from other videos or pictures, or if you prefer it straight and more like this, a little bit smoother. Um, leave comments below, because I'd like to know what, what you guys think. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, um, and check out the blog. I'll be posting more things in here again very soon. Um, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.